Want higher speeds and greater depth of cut out of your Fox Alien CNC? Stick around. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Brett, and this is my Laser Garage. Today, we're gonna to give the Fox Alien Masuder 3S CNC a little extra power. That's right. I'm gonna show you how to swap out the stock 400 watt spindle for a trim router, and we'll see how fast we can get this thing going. First off, I wanna say I really like using spindles on CNCs in general, and the 400 watt spindle that comes with the CNC is no exception to that. I like it because it's super quiet, it's controlled through G-code, and can run quarter inch end mills by swapping out the collet. Its major disadvantage though is power. Although it can run quarter inch end mills, speeds and feeds must be turned down or cut quality will suffer greatly, or you'll stall out the spindle. I'm okay with going a little slower in most situations, but other times I need some speed. If you're looking to run these types of quarter inch shank bits on your Masuder 3S, the trim router is for you. Let's learn more about it and see how it's installed. With 710 watts of power, adding the Fox Alien trim router to the CNC will help run higher speeds with greater depths of cut, equaling faster project times. The diameter of the Fox Alien trim router is 65 millimeters, and the mount I'm going to use to connect it to the Masuda 3S conveniently is included with the CNC. The Fox Alien dust boot also fits with the stock spindle and the 65 millimeter router, so that's another bonus. Let's take a look at just how easy this router is to install on the Masuda 3S. And oh yeah, if you don't have the 3S and want to install this on another Fox Alien CNC, don't worry. Most, if not all of these steps will apply to any of their machines. To install the router, all you need to do is disconnect the wire connecting the spindle, remove the 52 millimeter spindle and mount by removing these two bolts and four bolts on the mount, remove the 52 millimeter mount and replace it with the 65 millimeter version and tighten the bolts. Then insert the trim router into the mount. I like to mount the router like this so I can get the greatest Z axis clearance yet still be able to attach the dust boot. Once you get it where you want it, tighten up the two mounting bolts to lock it in place. Finally, if you'd like, you can run the router's power cable neatly through the drag chain before plugging it into the wall. I'm not gonna do this right now because of a special reason I'll talk about later in this video. So that's it for the installation, really easy. Now let's run some tests. To begin the testing, I've created some very basic pocket tool paths and we'll run them in different types of common materials, MDF, plywood, and oak. I'll show these tests in real time. No fast forwarding, edits, or background music. Don't worry, there won't be long cuts. I just wanna to try to give you a full experience of how the Masuda 3S runs with the trim router. And of course, I'll show my speeds and feeds as well. All right, let's do it.
So as you could see, the router had no problem getting through any of these materials with a quarter inch end mill. In fact, I probably could have even gone faster, especially in the MDF. That's something I'm gonna have to experiment more with in the future. For now, let's go ahead and test some more by running an actual project using different tool changes and tool paths. For this project, we're gonna make a simple oak valet tray. This project will include a roughing tool path using a quarter inch roughing end mill, a finishing tool path using a three quarter inch bowl bit, and a contour tool path using a quarter inch compression end mill. First off, we have the roughing tool path. This is gonna take out the bulk of the material at a high speed so we can get the job done faster and also save our bowl bit a little. I'm using a quarter inch beast end mill from IDC Woodcraft, which is basically a serrated cutter that is able to remove a bunch of material quickly. I'm running this at 120 inches per minute with a depth of cut of a quarter inch and a step over of 0.1 inches. I could have probably easily gone to a half inch depth of cut with this end mill, but chose to keep it somewhat conservative. Next, I'll change over to a three quarter inch bowl bit also from IDC Woodcraft. I'm just gonna be taking a little bit of material off for this bowl bit, and its main purpose is to give a nice rounded edge to the bottom of the pocket. I ran this tool path a second time, changing the step over from 0.1 inches to 0.05 inches, and increased the feed rate to 120 inches per minute as a final finishing pass to help eliminate any tool marks. Last, I switched over to a quarter inch Jenny compression bit from Cadence Manufacturing to cut out the valet tray. I ran this bit at 80 inches per minute with a depth of cut of 0.2 inches. Everything turned out great and I have very little post-processing to take care of on this piece. I'll just give it a light sanding and hit it with some coats of shellac and it'll be completed. I'm very impressed with the speeds I was able to run the Masuda 3S at in order to complete this project. And there's always room to tweak these settings for further improvement. So there you have it. Now you know how to install a trim router on your Fox Alien CNC and have learned a little bit about what it can do. Overall, I think this is a great addition to a well-built CNC like the Masuda 3S and will allow you to take more advantage of the CNC's sturdy construction and closed loop stepper motors. If you wanna see my full thoughts on the CNC, make sure to check out this video here. Also, if you're interested in purchasing any Fox Alien CNC or product, I'll have an affiliate link in the description below. Using this link to purchase doesn't cost you anything, but gives me a little kickback. This helps me continue to make content like this, so I really appreciate it. Now, earlier I mentioned I wasn't gonna run the router power cord through the drag chain. This is because next I'll be adding something new to the Masuda 3S, a 20 watt laser module. That video will be coming out really soon, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss it. Well, that's it for today. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to check out my other laser and CNC videos showing up on your screen in a few seconds. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.